In this video, we're checking out GoPro's newly released feature that's coming out to most supported GoPros. As well as I'm gonna go ahead and give you the full guide on how you can unlock this feature and actually use your GoPro Hero 8 as your computer's webcam. See, that sentence alone makes this into the ultimate action cam. So this new feature recently got announced and is available to download for the public for you to test out and try it on your MacBook device. So just to clarify a couple of things, this is still in the beta. It's currently only available for the Hero 8 and is only supported on Mac OS. And in case you're running Apple's beta of Mac OS, which currently is Big Sur, for my personal experience, it also works perfectly fine. And yes, I am aware I'm running two betas at the same time and it's somehow stable. So after playing around with this new GoPro webcam feature. After a day use, it's surprisingly is very stable. Not once has it crashed on me or have I encountered any bugs or issues and such. This webcam option is actually really incredible because now when I'm not sh outdoor shooting stuff, I can actually use this for my zoom calls and such as this camera resolution is a lot better than what MacBooks traditionally come equipped with. I mean, for a really expensive machine, this thing internal webcam is still shooting at 720p, which is pathetic. Now in the GoPro, in the preferences, currently you only have the option to change between 720p or 1080p resolution, but pretty soon GoPro did state it on their website that they do plan on releasing future updates so that you can actually change the different fields of view that GoPro's wide angle lens are known to have. And this is actually compatible with a lot of major web chat platforms such as Facebook, Skype, Zoom, and even works really well with Twitch via OBS, of course. I'll have the full list right here of the platforms that support this GoPro as a webcam. But after going through a couple of chat rooms with this setup yesterday, there's no loss in quality or anything like that whenever you have your camera connected. That nice feel of view does allow you to capture more people in the frame, which is perfect for group gathering for those friends and family FaceTime calls. No longer do you have to awkwardly move the webcam or anything like that. So if you'd like to give this a try, I mean, the installation process will literally only take you a couple of minutes. So if you'd like to follow this guide, I'll be sure to leave the links to all these downloads in the video description down below, but it's really basic. All you gotta do is go to this page on GoPro's website and go ahead and download the beta firmware. We are gonna install a beta firmware onto the GoPro, which seems like it didn't do anything to the GoPro because all your regular menu options from the Hero 8 is still there. All you're just getting is that additional webcam feature. But then just simply remove the micro SD card from the GoPro and insert it on your computer. And then on your computer, after you downloaded that beta download, simply click on that file, open it up, unzip it until you see this update folder. Simply click and drag this file to the GoPro micro SD card, wait until the file is done transferring, and then just eject that SD card. Go ahead and take that SD card and put it back inside the GoPro. Once you do that, simply boot up the GoPro and you're gonna notice that's gonna show you this camera icon with the arrow indicating that's updating. From here, you could either leave it like it is, wait until the download is complete. And if you find out your GoPro may be low on batteries, you can also plug it into power if you need to. But let it automatically update and should only take like one or two minutes. Afterwards, you're done. Now they did note it on their website in case you do get an update error message. To restart the process, just remove the battery from the GoPro and start over. But once that update's complete, you can now turn off the GoPro and head back to your Mac. As now you gotta download the GoPro webcam software. Simply download it, open up the file, follow the instructions, and it's gonna prompt you to reset your computer. Once your computer has been reset, go ahead and plug in the GoPro, and by default, it's automatically gonna be set to the USB mode. To switch it to the webcam mode, on the toolbar on top of your MacBook, you will see a mini GoPro icon. Simply click on that, it should automatically detect that there's a GoPro connected and will allow you to switch to the webcam mode. If you see the blue icon, that means the GoPro is currently on standby mode. And if you see a red icon on it, that means you are live. But by clicking on this toolbar, here is where you can find all the different preferences. You can change the resolution and you can also flip the video footage as well after you start the preview. And for something that's in the beta, I mean, the video quality isn't too shabby. It actually looks crispy and clear. But other than that, that's basically it. Now, whenever you're at a Zoom call, a Skype chat or something, just go to that software's preference and make sure that you have the GoPro selected as your dedicated webcam. 
Just be sure to put this on a tripod or something and level things out and you're basically set. The tripod that I recommend is this mini one by GoPro. This is the one I have. Just unfortunately, I lost it somewhere in my household. So I'm currently unable to show it to you how it's going to look like. But trust me, that's the tripod you want to get if you want to make this into your dedicated webcam. But I did feature it in my previous GoPro accessory video, which you can watch here. But that's a tripod that I would recommend to get because that one extends. I'll be sure to leave links to that and those softwares that you need to download in the video description down below. Now, if you'd like to see more, make sure to check out this video over here. So I go through my favorite hidden features, some tips and tricks that you could do with the Hero 8. And then that video right over there, that is just a video that YouTube is suggesting specifically for you. They believe you're going to like it. So feel free to watch that one or this one. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.